All right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Entrepreneur Investor. And in today's video, we'll be doing a retire on XDTE. You guys really liked the QDTE version of this video. So I decided to make another one. And this is for the Round Hill S&P 500 Zero Data Expiration Covered Call Strategy ETF. If you guys do like videos like this, be sure to leave a comment down below saying I should do some more retire on videos. And if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. So why would you invest in XDTE? Let's go over some of the fund information, show you guys some of the distributions that XTTE has produced so far. We'll take a look at total return and then see how much you guys need to be able to retire off of this ETF and what exactly you can do to reinvest your dividends for the next 10 years or just live off the dividends currently. So why would you invest in XTTE? Well, they harness the volatility, sells zero data expiration options on the S&P 500 and seeks to exploit structural market mispricings. High income potential XTTE seeks to generate high income through a covered call strategy on the S&P 500, which we'll go over in a little bit. The selling point of this ETF is those weekly distributions, seeks to pay weekly distributions out of sold option premiums. So all the income that they receive from these premiums, they're distributing to the shareholders. You see the fund ticker is XTTE, obviously by Round Hill Investments. Current expense ratio is 0.95% and assets under management 16 million. So this fund is is a little bit smaller than QDTE, but still has great returns and even has outperformed QDTE for the past few months. Current shares outstanding as of 630, 2024 is 305,000. So the inception date was a few months ago, 3 7, 2024, and you are able to trade options on this ETF as well. So the option strategy illustration here, you could see that they do sort of a different strategy than some of the other zero data expiration covered call ETFs, which I've really like they have overnight long exposure to the market so then if the market is up one percent overnight this etf will be able to capture that one percent move and then they start their new option position so their covered call position here is in the the solid line where they have their long position below and then you can see that they are capped a little bit on the upside but like i said with that overnight exposure you're able to capture a lot more upside with this etf compared to something like the defiance etfs which have seen the share price go down quite a bit. The distributions that Defiance has paid out so far has actually outweighed that share price decline. But with these ETFs, we've seen a stable NAV over since inception date, as well as great weekly dividend income. So the total returns have been great. So each trading day, the fund will sell a covered call against its position in the index, which is that long call seeking to generate options income. Daily returns are capped at the sold strike. So you can see that's where they're capped up here. But then the next day, the long call is still available. These will expire in 2025 and we can see great upside potential. During the overnight sessions, the fund will no longer hold any options positions resulting in full exposure to the index. So they don't have any capped potential on that overnight exposure. So you can see their long call here expires in 2025 and that strike price is 420. That's 94% of the portfolio. And then the rest they have in cash. And they distribute that income through cash and then when we do see the ex-dividend date for these ETFs, they do drop by the dividend amount, but it's really minor because these ETFs trade around $45 for QDTE and then XDTE is around $52 currently. So you really don't see too many downturns in the share price because of the distributions. So let's go into the website here. You can see the current distribution rate is saying 26.11% and this is mostly like the fact sheet. So let's just scroll down all the way to the distributions frequency is weekly and you can see the pay dates for the next few distributions 726 2024 which will be next week and then the most recent distribution from xdte declaration date was 717 x dividend date was 718 which is tomorrow and then the payment date will be on friday and that was 20 cents per share pretty consistent distributions from this etf so far their lowest one was all the way back in april which was two cents you could see it's been around i would say between 15 and 30 cents for the past few payments and then the most recent ones have been in the 20 cent range but pretty consistent
consistent, which is great to see. Steady share price as well as consistent distributions from this ETF so far. So let's take a look at total return as well as price return from this ETF since the inception date. And today it is down 1.07% and the overall market is down quite a bit today. S&P 500 is down around 1% and the NASDAQ 100 is down around 2%. So really taking a beating here. I just purchased some more QDTE in my portfolio as well because I did see that share price drop. These don't really have too much of a downside protection, but overall the markets go up over the long term and they do still capture that income because of their covered call strategy on down days. So you can see in the past five days, it's down 0.14% and that's basically because today is down 1%. In the past month, XDTE and price return is at 0.15 and then total return as well 0.15. And then in the past six months, you can see price return is up 1.45% in the past 131 days and total return is up 8.15%, which is fantastic. And this is basically since the inception date of this ETF, it is up 8%, which is a great return in this short time frame. So you want to use this ETF to receive weekly income and be able to retire off of this ETF entirely. Well, let's do a calculation here where you have 100 shares. So you see current share price is 52.84, number of shares 100, current investment amount is $5,284. If you want to hold it for 10 years, that can be quite beneficial for dividend reinvestment. Let's put in 25% as the expected dividend yield because we do see some variability in that dividend yield, but it's been around 20 to 25%. Distribution frequency, the shortest they have here is bi-monthly, but we know we get paid weekly with this ETF. Annual contribution, let's leave it at zero. Dividend tax rate, let's change this to 20%. Expected annual dividend increase, we'll keep that at zero. And then what we've seen with the annual share price increase, let's put it at 2% because usually the market does go up, you know, around 10%. The S&P 500 over the last 10 years has averaged around 10 to 15 percent annual share price increase but like we said we are capped because this is a covered call strategy ETF and then let's put in drip for this calculation so let's calculate these returns so after 10 years only putting in $5,200, your ending balance would be $47,617, and your average annual return there would be 80%. Annual dividend income would be around $8,633, and your total dividend payment over those 10 years has been $38,890. So that is a fantastic return over 10 years. You see that total return 800%, and your ending balance would increase from $5,000 all the way up to $47,000. But say you want to have more shares of this ETF currently. So let's bump it all the way up to 500 shares at a share price of 52.84. Does get a bit pricey and is a large position, but you'd be at $26,420. And let's calculate these returns. So after 10 years, you'd have $238,000. And this is just a fun calculator to look at. You know, I'm not advising you guys put all your money into this ETF or that it will increase in share price by 2% every single year and that it may keep that dividend yield at 25%. We don't know what's going to happen, but it's just fun to see if all things stay equal. What we've seen in the past few months, these returns can be possible. So your ending balance would be $238,000. Your annual income would be $43,000 and total dividend payments within this time frame has been $194,000, which is an incredible amount of dividend payments. So say you want to retire off this ETF now. So let's do holding period as let's say two years for this ETF and say you want to put around $100,000 into this ETF, bump it up to 2000 shares currently where you'd have $105,000 in this ETF and you're going to drip these dividends for the next two years and then be able to retire off this ETF within the next two years. Let's calculate these returns and you can see your ending balance would be $164,000, annual dividend income $29,000, Total dividend payment would be 53000 over these two years. And you can see your yield on cost will be 43%, which is incredible. But say you have 100000 and you don't really want to retire yet, but you want to put all of your money into XDTE. Let's bump this up to 10 years and see how much yield you can really create and how much income you can create over the next 10 years if you have 100 k in XDTE. So your ending balance would be just under $1 million if you put 100 k into XDTE right now and your annual dividend 
dividend income would be $172,000, which is absolutely insane. Total dividend payment over those 10 years would be $770,000. So it is possible to retire on XDTE. So far, we've seen an 8% total return with this ETF, and I really like it. And I also like QDTE. I like QDT a little bit more because there is more volatility, and the distribution yield is around 40% for QDTE, which is crazy. If you put 100K into XDTE currently, you'd make around $25,000 per year. If you withdraw all of that income and say you put $200,000 into XDTE, then you would make $50,000 per year off of this ETF. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.